got a problem with the um, locking mechanism on uh, on the fuel flap. The pin here isn't uh, isn't popping out when uh, when the car is locked. Now I know that there's a delay um, on the locking pin, so I've already factored that in. So design wise it's designed to say when you get out of the car to refuel you can lock the car but this will stay unlocked for a period of five to ten minutes so you can refuel without having to lock and unlock the car but then after about ten minutes that pin should come out and uh, and then lock the flap you know when you're leaving it for an extended period of time and that's definitely not working so um, so I'm just going to investigate it a little bit and see where we're up to. So I just undo the side panel just here and uh, this is the same setup on S60s, V70s, uh, probably even XC90s as well and that big white thing there that's the fuel flap, uh, well the fuel lock solenoid and basically a plunger might just be able to see the rod just there the plunger <coughs> is pushed out and that's what locks the uh, the fuel flap so it receives power from that connector there so the first thing I'm gonna do is unplug that connector and uh, just make sure that it is actually receiving power in the first place okay so this is the connector here it's actually held on on both sides so you have to prise that upwards and that out as well at the same time it's actually not too bad to do and uh, and then it just pulls straight off so I'll get the multimeter set up and uh, let's get some test on right might be tr quite tricky for me to show but I'll, I'll see how I get on so the black lead of the multimeter I've got it going where the yellow lead is going in and then the red lead is going where the blue lead is going in the multimeter is set on DC volts and it's on the lowest 20 volt setting just there. So all I'm going to do is try and get a good contact. It's definitely a lot easier if you've got someone to give you a hand because in a minute what I'll be wanting to do is um, lock and unlock the car using the key fob. Goodness me, let's see if I can get these on. That's one on. It's definitely two on there. There we go. So, I've got the key, just going to be locking and unlocking. So, on the unlock, yeah, it goes right up to 10 volts. Not as much on the locking function. Don't know whether that needs more or less. So uh, anyway, the main thing is is that we're getting a good voltage coming through. So it looks like the wiring is actually okay, and it's the it's the solenoid itself. So I'll get that off the car now. Okay, so I'm just going to be undoing it. What well, we've got a T25. There we go, T25. I'm going to undo those two just there. So as I'm unbolting it from the other side see it come loose okay that's the solenoid come away there okay so next thing using a T20 Torx I'm going to undo these two screws on here going to take that part out and then I'll work out what we need for these. Okay and so for this we then need a T15 if it will focus in on it so you can all see yeah T15. I certainly like to test your tool collection. And the reason I'm opening all this up is just to see if we can um, 
just give everything a clean or just see if there's anything very obvious with it inside it. Okay, so it looks a pretty simple affair really. Uh, power comes into the solenoid here and it'll spin this, uh, this pinion one way and then it'll spin it the other way depending on your lock or unlock signal. And that then turns that cog and that just sets the plunger in and out to lock the fuel flap. Um, there's nothing really obvious though, it doesn't look dirty or anything like that so I'm going to see if I can uh, just see if maybe there's any issue with a contact or a m missing solder joint or I don't know, not too, uh, not too hopeful on this one to be honest but uh, we'll see. Okay well by putting in, just putting on a little bit more grease onto the winding just here um, it seems to be getting some progress. The problem is, it's with this flipping time delay. Um, I can only test it one way. So what I've done is I've, I've I've wound the cog so it goes to the lock position. And all I'm going to do now is press my key, and you'll see. See, see how it turned it there. Whereas if I press the lock it doesn't do it but that's not unusual because that's that's because of this flipping delay that that Volvo put on it um, so it's more difficult to test if it's gonna do it the other way but seeing as it has opened really really easily now um, just from a little bit of grease I think it could be as simple as that so I'll grease it both ways uh, while well, all along the threads just make sure everything's all free running and uh, and give it a go. Okay, so I've just taken this assembly out. Uh, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a clean. Just clean the threads. I mean, sometimes on these, over the years, you can get um, just warm bits of plastic, just kind of little shavings and stuff, and it just increases the resistance when it's trying to wind itself in so uh, so I'll get that cleaned first of all um, and then all I'm gonna do I've just got some uh, some Vaseline unfortunately nowadays the only flaps I get to put Vaseline on a fuel flap so um, so yeah um, so I'll get some Vaseline on the on the runners and um, and then just put it all back together and uh, then see how we get on. Great, so that's all greased up nicely now. So I'll just put everything back together, screw it back onto the housing, get it plugged in, and um, give it a test. Okay, well I can sit, can consistently get it to unlock, and it's a nice, slow, nice, quiet action now. That. Let's look for the pin just in there. So I'll get it put on and then hopefully um, when the delay kicks in it will then lock the flap as well. Okay so that's all screwed back in place. Electrical connection back on there. Plugged in, screwed in just there. So all I'll do now lock the car and wait and hopefully after about 10-15 minutes the uh, the lock will have activated. Well as you can see the uh, buttons are down in the car so the car's locked and against all my expectations yay I've actually got a locking fuel flap again so um, so the, the delay has sent it Cross, and I can only presume that uh, it wasn't locking before just because of a you know maybe a tiny bit of resistance going on on that screwing mechanism on the locking pin so before you go shelling out money um, just do a few tests to make sure that power is at least getting through to the um, to the solenoid open it up as you've seen it's not a difficult job and uh, get everything cleaned and greased and you never know you might get lucky like me so I uh, hope you find that useful and thanks for watching